On World Humanitarian Day, South Korean humanitarian and civil society organizations came together in Seoul to outline their work. They focus on issues ranging from public health and education to reducing poverty. And while they shared an honest assessment of affairs, they also offered hope. People suffering in a humanitarian crisis are in circumstances that could cost their lives. And while there is demand for help from organizations and we work hard, the gap in need is narrowing. But Seoul has only recently developed that humanitarian culture. In the 1950s, South Korea provided perhaps the first test of the United Nations, with millions driven from their homes during the war with the North. As South Korea recovered from the 1950-53 to 53 Korean War, it received significant development aid. Now South Korea is a robust aid provider, an example of the first country to go from recipient to donor. South Korea now has 140 international non-governmental organizations with 10,000 workers in nearly 100 countries. When I weigh values, I think that it's meaningful to help people, to serve and sacrifice for them and save lives. And there are tens of thousands of humanitarians behind me, working hard in the field to protect those values. The exhibition included a refugee application. Asylum seekers often detail more than 20 pages of personal information, depending on the country. For some visitors, the experience may prove inspiring. I once volunteered in Myanmar and seeing people living in difficult conditions and never lose hope made me interested in humanitarian work. Since then, I have been looking into various sports activities, and if I can be of any help, I think it would be a worthwhile life. South Korean non-governmental organizations have been particularly active in recent conflict zones, with programs geared toward South Sudanese, Syrian and Ukrainian refugees. Frank Smith, TRT World, Seoul.